Sons and Daughters of God for March 16th. The reading is entitled, Meekness. The scripture reading is taken from Psalm 25, verse 9. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. You will have to learn the important lesson of what it is to be a man in the sight of God. It is to be like Jesus, meek and lowly of heart, to guard the interests of others more sacredly than you would your own. It should be carried out in your daily life and practice, showing that you have not been playing truant or a dull scholar in the school of Christ. Selfishness cannot exist in a heart where Christ dwells. If cherished, it will crowd out everything besides. It will lead you to follow inclination rather than duty, rather than duty to make self the subject of thought and to gratify and indulge yourself instead of seeking to be a blessing to others. Your wants your pleasures will come before everything else. True happiness is to be found not in self-indulgence and self-pleasing, but in learning of Christ. Those who trust to their own wisdom and follow their own ways go complaining at every step because the burden which selfishness binds upon them is too heavy. Jesus loves the young, and he longs to have them possess that peace which he alone can impart. He bids them learn of him meekness and lowliness of heart. This precious grace is rarely seen in the youth of the present day, even in those who profess to be Christians. Their own ways seem right in their eyes. In accepting the name of Christ, they do not accept his character. Therefore, they know nothing of the joy and peace to be found in his service. The meekness of Christ manifested in the home will make the inmates happy. It provokes no quarrel, gives back no angry answer, but soothes the irritated temper and diffuses a gentleness that is felt by all within its charmed circle. Wherever cherished, it makes the families of earth a part of the one great family above. Thank you for listening.